and welcome back. This is Bella Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is Flying Kimchi. He is in the Silver Division, ranked 56, so the game must be thinking that I suck. He has 34 wins and 27 losses with 657 points. So here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Blue Terran in the Northeast up against Flying Kimchi, who is a Red Terran in the Southwest. West. So we're going to be seeing TVT on Blistering Sands once again, known as always for the back door that I made many jokes of last time. I hope you guys got them. Pretty sure this is the internet, so I don't need to explain it to you. And I, I did mention that this guy was ranked pretty low on the Silver Division. I say that the, the game must be thinking I suck, but to be honest, it's probably because there was nobody online, I'll be honest. I had to wait probably about three minutes each time for a, bat, for, for a match, and that is not something that I'm used to. Usually, it's about 10 to 15 seconds, and then boom, opponent. But this time, I was just sitting there waiting, couldn't find anybody. So they expanded the search, and I got a silver player. I am ranked, I believe, as of this recording, 16th in my gold division. So you know, I'm not doing bad. You know, don't don't get don't don't take me too seriously. I always think that I'm doing worse than I actually am. I don't think I'm good enough to be promoted to the platinum ladder yet, but I'm working on it, ever improving. Those two SUVs just had a high-speed head-on-head collision there. Um, hopefully, their drills are okay. Barracks going up for both of us. His is a little bit ahead of mine, as is his refinery. That's not that's not too uncommon. Because I was going for a massive Q inside his base. And he see here he's he's doing it now. I do it before the guy ever ever gets there. I mean look at that. Boom. Spider web. And here he puts his SCV inside my back door get out of my back door but I definitely was paying attention this time because last game as you guys sh saw I lost because I wasn't keeping track of the, the the probe or harvester or whatever so I go in and I'm like hey wait 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 wait, wait. go kill him so I'm going for the attack and then what I lost him I hate that okay I understand the point of, you know, not being able to see on the other side of the grass, but really, I have to lose him through the grass when he walks through. It's pathetic. My orbital command is up. His is just on the way, so his APM inside my base did not pay off for him, really, because it did slow down his opener. Tech Lab finishing on the first barracks. I did go for the reactor, but that is not done yet. I went for that marine first. Um, what else are we seeing here? Factory. So we are going to be seeing pretty much one barracks into a factory, me. Three factories once again. I don't think this is a large enough map to warrant a quick tech strategy. I still like the marines and marauders. He does have a supply depot guarding his back door. I am going for an engineering bay. Outside there I do have a marine instead guarding my destructible rocks. I'm not sure which one I prefer, the Supply Depot or the Marine. Of course, that one game I did with an Engineering Bay because, really, honestly, just because I needed to build an Engineering Bay and that spot was open. But I would not prefer that. I think, overall, I do prefer the Marine because I don't want a building to die in, as collateral damage. If if the my opponent was going to be going through the rocks, I want rather a marine to attack them. He is getting the stim pack a lot faster than I am. But these guys do not have concussive shells. As soon as a marauder pops out, they definitely Yes. So you know even though his stim pack is up earlier, I am getting much more 
upgrades and fast tank on the way usually when there's a tech upgrade like that into a quick factory we will be seeing tanks instead of hellions um, i have seen a quick thor but not typically against me i've only seen it replays of other players games a quick thor can do a lot of a lot of damage but not not as much as you know two tanks early on in the game that's just my opinion though if you micro the Thor well enough, it could probably do damage. What they usually do is pair it with a dropship. And here he is scanning into my base. He should be able to see... Well, okay, that's my camera. He sees... Well, he's going to see all three of my barracks. He doesn't see the engineering bay. And he doesn't see the army. And I think he was aiming for the army, but he should know because he put his army there too, where that should go. Still nothing guarding the expansion except for that supply depot. And even though he scouted three racks, he's going to be building missile turrets. And it looks like he's queued two up on the same SCV. Of course, now that I don't do that anymore, I can say that it's not a smart strategy. Why is he going for the missile turrets? Because he is now going for a starport. And once you get your starport, you start thinking that the other person is going to get a starport. It's just human nature. So here, I attack the rocks. And really, I just want these to die. I don't really care about these guys. So they're going to back up and realize, hey, they're attacking us. These tanks will be able to do damage to everybody. I will lose this mat, th this little skirmish here, no doubt. But the damage has been done. I took out the rocks, and that is what I wanted. These siege tanks actually never even got hit. This guy's a corporal already. That guy's awesome. Meanwhile, I am researching the combat shield and the armor upgrade. So hopefully the tank will stop two-shotting my marines. They do have the combat shield up now. Can you guys see it? Oh, don't turn around. There we go. There's a combat shield. I would still love, you know, just a little icon. Hey, we got the combat shield. Yay, right there. Right there. That's all I'm saying. And looks like he's just going to keep this forward position. No, he is going to fall back inside the base. He hasn't really been producing all that much. He did get a drop ship a medevac out and two more barracks on the way never got any never got any what do you call it wow i am failing at english today i am tired he never got an add-on onto the starport does have two tanks in the medevac not seeming to do much of anything i'm moving my guys to the watchtower here just to see what's going on, and of course I can't see much of anything other than what I saw getting to the launch tower. <laughs> Finally going for the weapons level 1 upgrade. But I've pretty much got the larger army here. He is beating me in gas, but of course 200 of those are tied up in those medevacs. And I'm easily taking these guys out. The siege tank only getting one shot off. And he is forced to GG. So once again, the quick backdoor entrance, you got to keep track of that. The quick tech build does not pay off once again because I have spent more. I should have spent more. No, it's about even on technology. But of course, mine is finished. His is not, uh, you know, 100, 100, you know, 200 resources spent, not finished yet. I'm going for my expansion now, so I mean, definitely not an all-in build, not not an all-in for me, but definitely an effective strategy is to go for these rocks. I did want them to go down, and once they did go down, that was pretty much it. Because even though he had the bulk of his army there, he was conscious about having to to keep track of two entrances at once. Was unable to get the block off here, and. Getting all those marines and marauders out through the thanks of now five barracks. Well, four and then a fifth on the way. So yes, once again, not sticking with three racks. Thank you, thank you. Bubba 18 are still have his name written down because I can't remember it because it's almost 2.30. 
so that was the game. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoy seeing me win more than you see me lose. But to be honest, my losses get more views, so I think you guys enjoy that more. So I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.